Hey guys, what's up and what's good? It's your boy Jordan back for another video here and today we will be doing our 2022 season schedule for my beloved football team, the Los Angeles Chargers. And let's get started. Week 1 matchup for 9-11, we have our arch rival, the AFC West, the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, That's because of the overtime because if we made the playoffs or didn't make it, but then that's why. They, it's because of the timeouts. It's because we got eliminated the contention of the playoffs by the Raiders in the field goal from overtime. And that's why we're going to beat them week one on 9-11 between the Chargers and Raiders. That means it's going to be a great game as sort of all. Week two, we have the Chiefs. Um, last year, we got smoked in overtime again by the Chiefs for from another heartbreaking loss <coughs> in the NFL. So, so the Chiefs do not have Tyreek Hill anymore, so they trade him away to Miami. And I believe the Chargers can beat Kansas City in week two. If the Chiefs don't have Hill anymore, then yeah. Chiefs still have their good, um, <coughs> just like our great quarterback, Justin Herbert. But the great Chiefs quarterback is Patrick Mahomes, as always. And move down, um, moving down for week three, we have the Jaguars. Um it's like 2020 during COVID-19 pandemic when we beat Jacksonville in week seven in the 2020 season between the Chargers and the Jaguars. So the Jaguars have a great quarterback because they have Trevor Lawrence. That means Justin Herbert is going to be better than Trevor Lawrence um, as soon as possible right now. And it's a great matchup with the Chargers and the Jaguars up in Los Angeles. Moving down, we have the Texans, um, the rematch from last year's season because um, I don't know why, because we got blown out. Um, that means we lost to Houston last year. So I think we're going to be better next year. And, um, but obviously the Texans don't have Hopkins, but they don't have Deshaun Watson anymore. But yeah, I believe they have Davis Mills. Because of their head coach, Lovey Smith, that means <laughs> I can't understand about it. So that could be on to the miracle side up on front and sort of all nothing could happen again from last year <laughs> as obviously you know it and moving down we have week five the rematch of week five from last year we have the cleveland browns this is up in cleveland up in first energy stadium uh the browns uh still have deshaun watson but they still have amari cooper since the trade from dallas to cleveland but um just like my chargers when we trade for khalil mack but yeah, just like my Chargers, when we trade for Khalil Mack and sign J.C. Jackson five-year deal. But yeah, that's what we're talking about. So yeah, but since after all, when my Chargers get Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson, the Browns still had to trade for Amari Cooper from the Cowboys um, when the Browns trade for Deshaun Watson from the Texans. Um, obviously, it's going to be a great matchup. And move down week six on Monday night, we have Denver... Um, that means um the Broncos still have Russell Wilson since the trade in March. Um since right before my Chargers had to trade for Khalil Mack from the Chicago Bears and signed JC Jackson on a five year deal. Um the Broncos trade Wilson first, and then my Chargers traded for Khalil Mack. Um so obviously um week six from like that in twenty twelve. Yeah. Just like the Chargers and the Broncos. Monday Night Football from 2007, 2012, 2017, and now 2022, as obviously. So, yeah, it's like that when it comes out, it comes through. That means it's going to make it happen for real. And let's see how it goes. Week 7 game, we have the Seahawks. Um, Seahawks are going to be terrible this year because, um, because my Chargers are still a better football team than the Seahawks. Then obviously, yeah, because um, obviously because we still have Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson right now. So, yeah, the Seahawks still have Drew Locke since the trade of Russell Wilson. And obviously, yeah, it's going to be fun. So, it's going to be great. Week 8, we have a bye. And week 9, we have the Falcons. Um, Falcons are such a tolerable team of a trash team. But they're going to be terrible this year. So, obviously, um... So the so the reason that the Falcons still got rid of Ryan was training him to Indianapolis. <coughs> um, sorry about that, but let me keep going. Um, 
So yeah, um, Falcons still have Marcus Mariota since Mariota was from Vegas to Atlanta. Um, so that means the Chargers will beat the Falcons in Week Nine on November sixth, twenty twenty two. So yeah, um, so the Falcons don't have Julio Jones no more. So that means Julio and Matt Ryan's not on the Falcons anymore. But yeah, I believe, <clears throat> I believe my Chargers will beat the Falcons. That's when we're gonna be better than them. Like ten years ago in 2012, back in San Diego, we lost to Atlanta. So that means this year, from from a ten year challenge, we're going to beat Atlanta, just like we did in 2016 season on a field goal, on Josh Lambeau field goal. And we 10 matchup. We got the 49ers. Um obviously the 49ers still absolutely um they have Trey Lance, but you know, like last year's preseason game when we lose to 49ers because of the Chargers. Um it's because he's a stick and a great quarterback matchup with Trey Lance. So um So yeah. <clears throat> it's gonna be fun. Um and it's gonna be a great game. On Sunday night football. In week 10 at San Francisco. And move now. Week 11 matchup in the afternoon. We have the Chiefs. Um, we play the Chiefs again in Los Angeles. Um, by the way, um, if we beat the Chiefs, then we complete the season series sweep over Kansas City. Um, because Justin Herbert could be better than Patrick Mahomes. So obviously they have a great one. But obviously they have Juju Smith-Schuster because the Chiefs still have Schuster. Because the Chiefs had to... Um, except the trade from the Steelers to get Juju Smith-Schuster. And just like one of my Chargers, just like one of my Chargers did when we traded for Khalil Mack and signing a five-year deal contract to J.C. Jackson was super great. And that's what I always have to say about it. Week 12 game after Thanksgiving, we have the Cardinals. Um, Cardinals still have J.J. Watt because um, obviously, yeah, J.J. Watt is on the Cardinals. So, so obviously the Chargers can be better than the Cardinals. Just her Herbert can be better than Kyler Murray. But yeah, he can make it throwing dimes and throwing catches, making touchdown passes. It's going to be great. But yeah, and obviously I got to tell you, just her Herbert can be better than Kyler Murray. Just her Herbert is better than Kyler Murray as possible. And it's great. Week 13, we have another game with the Raiders. Um, It's up in Vegas. Um, Like the last time, like I got to tell you again, like, we don't want to talk about the overtime game because we didn't make the playoffs from another heartbreaking loss. So obviously, it's going to be better. So if we beat the Raiders twice or we don't beat the Raiders, we we just beat them one time until they beat us one time. I don't know yet. So we will see about it. Week 14, we have the Dolphins. Um, Dolphins still have Tyreek Hill since Dolphins trade for Hill from Kansas City. Um. So yeah, J.C. Jackson is going to go for the matchup against Tyreek Hill. And I believe J.C. Jackson will face Tyreek Hill for the first time. Just like what he did um, against Kansas City in 2018 playoffs in the AFC Championship game between the Patriots and the Chiefs. Um, It's like when J.C. Jackson used to have a teammate of Tom Brady. But now J.C. Jackson is now with Derwin James, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Jessa Herbert, and... Obviously, keeping a three-year deal receiver of Mike Williams. And obviously, the great receiver, Keen Allen. And completely with Dustin Hopkins, Austin Ackler. Is all I got to tell you is yes. Um, this is going to be great. <sighs> got to keep going. Okay. Week 15, we have the Titans. Um, we have the Titans right now, so... Um, it's going to be up in L.A. between the Chargers and the Titans. The last time we beat the Titans was 2016 because the Titans used to have a former quarterback of Marcus Mariota. And obviously, um, Phillip Rivers dominated against Tennessee when he was with the Colts and used to play for our beloved football team, the Chargers. Um, so, yeah, obviously, for Phillip Rivers, Phillip Rivers is kind of better than all the Titans quarterback he faced was Vince Young and the former quarterback as a current quarterback for the Falcons and the former quarterback for the Titans, Marcus Mariota. But then Philip Rivers lost to Ryan Tannehill in week um week seven in twenty nineteen season, so we lost to Tennessee in twenty nineteen season. But um, after all, we're gonna give Tennessee a revenge, and let's see how it goes right now in Los Angeles, up in Inglewood. 
Week 16 after Christmas, we have a Monday night game. We have another Monday night game. We have the Colts. Um, Colts still have Matt Ryan, but um, obviously the Colts need more guys. So just like my Chargers with Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson as well. Just like I told you, just like Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson and Kyle Van Noy. So obviously, yeah. Just like the last time we beat the Colts, week one in the 2019 season when Phillip Rivers had to beat the Colts because the Colts thought about Andrew Luck's retirement. That meant Andrew Luck was retired. But Phillip Rivers was better than Jacoby Brissett. That means Phillip Rivers was better than Jacoby Brissett. Like you tell them all. Um, week 17 matchup on my birthday on January 1st. I will be 18 this year until 2023. We have the Super Bowl defending champion Rams. Um, it's going to be a battle of LA contest and it's going to be a good game. Um, Justin Herbert and Matthew Stafford um, because the Rams still have Allen Robinson. Um, and yeah, because they have Bobby Wagner. That means we got Khalil Mack and JC Jackson. So yeah, the Rams still have Bobby Wagner and they still have Allen Robinson. Because Matthew Stafford needs more than a lot of people. But um, the Rams lost Robert Woods when Robert Woods has joined the Titans. So that means we're going to play against them. And last season of the year, we played the Broncos up in Mile High. Um, It's like the last time in 20, um, 2018 season when we beat Denver in Week 17. So I think we'll beat Denver twice as we're going to do it right now. So, um, so okay. Before the season starts in 2022 for the NFL schedule between my beloved Chargers and Raiders. As we got some preseason schedules for upcoming games with the Chargers to play three teams in the NFL. From a preseason game from a home team to away team. So preseason week one we have the Battle of LA like last year. We have the Rams. Um, This is going to be great. Um. Preseason week two, we have the Dallas Cowboys. Um, it's like last year when we got screwed by penalties. Um, because of the Cowboys. Um, I don't believe that, but I I gotta say Justin Herbert's better than Dak Prescott. Um, Keen Allen's better than C.D. Lamb because Keen Allen is underrated and Dak Prescott is overrated. So I can never explain about it. Um, so that means I believe it's so. But you know. So right before the season starts for the Chargers in week one against the Raiders. So um. <clears throat> We have the Rams of the Cowboys at our home game at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. Um, but obviously some of the fans call them cowgirls. Like it's kind of meant to be like when they call them uh, cowgirls, when the Cowboys lose, they call them cowgirls. Um, that means me and the Chargers will beat the cowgirls in week two of the season in preseason matchup in Los Angeles, California. But they have the joint practice in Costa Mesa in Los Angeles, up in Orange County and in, uh, Inglewood to Carson um, as well. And preseason week three, um, I guess like I have a Valhalla High School football game against Granite, um, for Owens Pep Rally, as a student at Valhalla. Um, so on the twenty sixth, we got the Saints. Um, the, the Chargers gonna play the Saints, but the Saints has a terrible quarterback and it's Andy Dalton. Um, but they still have Tyron, um, Tyron Matthew from Kansas City, but they still obviously have Jarvis Landry. Um. That means the Saints got three new guys. They have Dalton, Landry, and Matthew. Okay. So I obviously know about it. Just like it. So that'll do it for me, guys. And I'm going to be out. So um, <clears throat> so this is your boy Jordan and Bolt Up. And go Chargers. Go Bolts. See you this season. And go Bolts. Go Chargers. Bolt Up. See you in September for football.